Well, now, how's about this for a plot? It's set on the day Margaret Thatcher dies, and it's a story about a dementia patient, a care worker, and the closure of a day centre. Well, not the obvious recipe for a comedy drama, but a new play, Swags and Tales, hopes to challenge our preconceptions and give a voice to those who are often not heard. It's been performed in various venues throughout the region until the end of the month. Well, tonight, for our Look North report, our supporter Sharina Saga has been to meet a resident of a care home whose personal experience is behind one of the main characters. And so, this is the book I thought you'd be interested in. <laughs> okay, said High Street. Can yeah. I be asked? Yeah, there's a tram card. A tram well, looking here. back on it, I think I've been very lucky and I've had a, a very good life. Yes, I've done all the things I wanted to do and um, enjoyed my work. Um, my husband used to take us out a lot, you know, when we were kids. I used to go here, there and everywhere. Sarah Duffy has lived in Gateshead for 60 years, but last year she had a nasty fall and was no longer able to care for herself. To begin with, she resisted the move to Ayton Lodge Care Home in Low Fell. At first, I, I um, couldn't get used to not having my house, you know, and going out because I like a lot of fresh air and that. But um, I've enjoyed it. They do everything. They're hairdressers here, and we go on trips, you know, to these places, and uh, Janice takes us along there. Yes, I'm quite happy. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think I want to be anywhere else now. You know? Sarah is part of a community which is the subject of a new play by Newcastle Theatre Company, Open Clasp. She took part in drama workshops to help shape the storyline and, in her case, one of the lead characters. The reason we did it is because we wanted to give the older person a voice. They also have an opinion and it gave them the opportunity to discuss their lives so they could be heard. It's a sad day, isn't it? And now the ladies finally get their chance to see Swags and Tails for the first time. Did you hear Margaret Thatcher had died? Thank God for that. That's what I said to that. Oh, I thought she was quite a bloody witch. That's what she was. My husband used to call her Margaret Thatcher the milk snatcher. It was the Iron Lady. Iron Lady made. One of the amazing things about the project is how amazing the women have been. The women from the care home, the women with the dementia, the women in the day centre, the women I visited in the house found. And it was their humour and talent and insight that I kind of wanted to celebrate in the play. Why isn't someone watching what's going on? We've got 60 residents and 33 in this unit. I don't care how many you've got. That is my mother. Yeah, there's hard bits in the play, um, but also there's a lot of laughter. But there's big decisions made in this play and women want to make a stand and say, actually, this isn't good enough we want we want more you like over here well i didn't think it was going to be like it was but um i still enjoyed it today's about celebrating what this center's achieved for so many people i think how they centered around the day center and the closure what it means to people you know it's a big part of the life and that to close would be a big thing to everybody so that is important honestly I don't know what that agency is thinking about sending someone like you to heck. Did you recognise yourself in Gloria, the character Gloria? Uh, somewhere along the line. <laughs> For Sarah and her peers, this play is art imitating life, their life. But the issues are important and at some stage they could be yours. Sharina Saga, BBC Look North, Gateshead. A great project.